say it couldn't be done. It seems to be a trend for me, actually. After many attempts over a decade, here we are finally. After over 18 months of work by the Governor's Child Welfare Action Committee, almost a year of work on this personally with a slew of stakeholders, we finally have a bill that is going to be signed. We were told that we couldn't get all the parties to agree, and we did. We were told we couldn't get bipartisanship, and we did. We were told we couldn't get the funds, and we found them. And I'm sure many of you have heard that there are parts of this legislation, the Ombudsman Program, that are not liked by each of the stakeholders. So I think that probably means we have a good accountability system. And at the end of the day, we are all coming together to stand up for the children of Colorado. Finally now, there will be an independent office where people can go to resolve their child protection concerns with anonymity and without fear of retaliation. Finally, we'll start to see real data across all 64 counties. Finally, a program that will draw out and share best practices of those who are excelling in protecting and nurturing the children of Colorado. Thank you to all those workers, advocates, parents, and citizens, and former legislators who have helped us overcome the obstacles of politics to do what's right for children. We need to remember to thank the tireless and often thankless work of the caseworkers, county directors, and commissioners, State Department of Human Services staff, foster care parents, and child welfare advocates out there every day working to protect the children. And we certainly need to thank Director Karen Bai and Governor Bill Ritter, who are two of the strongest child advocates ever to be seen in the executive branch in Colorado. Yay. With your leadership, we are here today. And thank you, Representative Gillardy, my partner, uh, for those of you who know, it was the House sponsor. She had wonderful stewardship in the House. And not only did we make it, but we made it through both chambers unanimously. And I just have to give a quick shout out to Bill Hanna, my mentor, and Britta Darling, the patient and detailed bill drafter. There are too many to thank by name, but you know who you are. And you should be feel very proud to make such positive Colorado history. So now we join 29 other states that have such a program. We join 29 other states that have before us stood up for the most vulnerable children and families. Although you haven't seen this in any initial legislative summary in the media, as is most often the case with child welfare issues, I say to you today that this is one state senator who will continue to fight for the kids and families of Colorado, even when they say it can't be done, even when no one is listening. I will be standing strong, speaking out, and overlooking the process of child protection reform until we have no issues, no issues, nor children that are neglected, abused, or left for dead. This is a great day for the children and families of Colorado, and this is only the beginning. So let's get that work group going, and thank you.